Good morning, it's reaction time. We've got the band Shadow King and the song This Heart of Stone. Now, this is an interesting one. I've been looking forward to getting round to this. It's been a while, but this was asked for by Matthias. Um, and I think this come off the back of the Def Leppard review or one of the songs because this band, probably a lot of you know anyway, had uh, Vivian Campbell in it on guitar and keyboards. Uh, Lou Graham on vocals, so what a super group already. Lou Graham on vocals, that a Foreigner, obviously. Bruce Turgan on the bass, he's done some work with Foreigner and Warrior. And Kevin Valentine on the drums, he's done some work with Kiss and Cinderella. So a real super group, 1991, just before Vivian Campbell, I think, joined Def Leppard. So really interesting this. I'm really interested to hear something else. Um, I mean, I love Lou Graham's voice. Oh, it's just a superb singer. I mean, he was at his peak as well, around the late 80s, early 90s. So you've got Lou Graham and Vivian Campbell, man. What more could you ask? So Shadow King, Heart of Stone, off the self-titled album, which I haven't heard, obviously, because this is a reaction. Just got lost in the plethora of grunge, I suppose, this one. Uh, Shadow King, Heart of Stone. Here we go. the battle to win the war Loving you is through my destiny Don't you know what you mean to me And I don't give up so easily now Don't say that it's over Oh man, <laughs> don't you love it when you find something like this? It's just amazing I, because I love Foreigner and I love Vivian Campbell's playing and I've always said he's so underused in Def Leppard, that's obvious. You know, and even though this is a melodic rock song bordering on AOR, the guitar, you, you know, you, it's just used in the right way. You can hear every, the guitar is the main thing here. Even though there's some nice synth touches, which Vivian Campbell apparently is doing as well. The guitar is right crunchy. It's there. I mean, it's almost like I can understand why Def Leppard, though, went to him. Maybe, I don't know if they went to him because of Holy Diver and Last in Line and Sacred Heart. They probably didn't. Maybe they heard him with um, Shadow King because it's obviously softer. You know, it's the melodic rock rather than metal when he was with Dio. So, um, you know, it's just brilliant work by him, even though it's understated, not in your face, like Holy Diver in your face, but it's just fantastic guitar work. So, so sort of understated, but the guitar's really crunchy still. So it's great to listen to him in something else and be heard in a good way. Do you know what I mean? Because it's not being heard at the moment, is he? Let's, let's face facts. So, um, 
Lou Graham's voice, man. <laughs> oh man, he's just, every time I hear his voice, I just think, is there, is there anyone better? You had him and Steve Perry, you know, in the late eighties and stuff. Is there anyone better than those two for this sort of stuff? You know, this melodic rock. You know, we heard blimmin' uh, Mitch Mal Malloy as well the other day. I heard him and he's just fantastic. So perhaps, perhaps, you know, there is a load of vocalists around that were, but they, they were the two that you heard about because they were the most famous, you know, Foreigner and Journey were the ones. It's really good to hear like Lou Graham just sing his ass off on this song. It's fucking amazing. The other guys are great in the band, obviously. Um, I mean, there's some talent there, but this is a very sort of straightforward AOR melodic rock song. We know that. So, you know, they're probably, this is probably easy for them, but you've still got to fucking be good to be in a band with these guys. And, you know, everything's perfect in this song. Everything's perfect, and the right kind of guitar crunch is going on as well, which is fantastic. It does sound like a foreigner song to me, but I think that's just Lou Graham's voice. Just as soon as I hear it, it makes me think of foreigner, obviously. It just does that with some singers, doesn't it? He's got a very characteristic voice for sure. Listen to the rest. I'm really excited to see here if there's going to be a solo as well. Here we go. Just perfect, absolutely perfect. The guitar solo, man, just shows you the actual class that Vivian Campbell is. I think he done White Snake as well, didn't he? Between Dio and this, so you can see he's sort of slowly getting more mellower with his. You know, he went from Dio, which is heavy rock, stroke classic rock metal, then to White Snake. Obviously, that's just classic rock in it, and then he sort of went into this, which is going melodic rock. Bouldering on AOR, then he went to Def Leppard, and now he ain't got a guitar. <laughs> I, mean, I don't mean that. I mean, he might as well not have a guitar. I didn't mean that either. I'm sorry. But, you know, I don't know. It's just, I wish he was more utilised in something. I really do. But this shows you, you can be utilised in a melodic rock AOR song and just do some brilliant guitar work, as he did in this song. Love the sort of gap in, in between that, in that solo, sort of that, taking little, his time with little bits and it's really catchy and it's just a brilliant solo. And also later on when the chorus uh, came in again, like leading out to the song, he's doing some brilliant guitar work I could hear under that 
under the chorus there. It's just amazing stuff. Vivian Campbell, man. Absolutely superb. Um, the song was absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much, Matthias, for choosing that for me. I wouldn't have heard that. That was just <laughs> brilliant. Shadow King, uh, This Heart of Stone, off the self-titled album 1991. Who's heard this album? Um, let me know who's heard this song as well in the comments below. What a song. I'll see you soon.